thinkable today. Uh, one of the most famous cases of this is, is the so-called Moore's Law. Many of you have probably heard about Moore's Law, that every 18 months, uh, two years, the power of computers doubles, and also the price actually falls. And this has been going on for about 40 years. Um, what is very interesting is that last year, um, Gordon Moore said that he foresees this, uh, this law, so-called law, to continue for at least one or two decades. And actually, I think even more, because very soon we will be working on three-dimensional circuits. We will be working on subatomic particles, and we will be working with quantum computing. Today, everything is digital computing, you know, like the Germans, zeros and ones, very digital mind, and with quantum computing, you have multiple possibilities. Actually, if you go to the web page forecasting the, the new developments on computers, uh, top 500, uh, they see a non-stoppable growth in these uh, computer technologies. And this is happening in every field, not only in info technology, it is also happening in biology. Last year, I was with Craig Venter. Craig Venter, very famous for being one of the people involved with deciphering, deciphering the human genome. And basically, he said that when he was working between the year 1990 and the year 2000, it cost $3 billion to read the human genome. $3 billion, and it took 10 years. He said that last year, he could have done it in just one year and for about $100 million. And he foresees that in 10 years, you can do it in one day and for $100. There is an incredible acceleration in every scientific field, because at the end, everything is, to, is, is information. And that is what is sometimes called a singularity. Um, let's review quickly each one of these uh, four technologies. Nanotechnology. I think all of you have heard about nano. Nanotechnology, it's... it's uh, in scientific notation, 10 to the minus 9, very, really small particles. We are talking about molecules and atoms. The web page of the U.S. government of nanotechnology, they forecast that by the year 2015, nanotechnology will be providing services and goods for the order of $15 trillion. $15 trillion. This is an incredible amount of what is happening in nanotechnology. Biotechnology, actually, it's also a growing field. Uh, two years ago, the Taiwanese developed this glow fish, very interesting fish that glow at night. Actually, they glow all the time. And I'm pretty sure some of the people I have seen in Finland would like to glow at night. So this could be a technology that some people would probably incorporate into themselves. If you are too tall or too short, too fat or too thin, if you are bold or too hairy, you will be able to solve many of these things. In fact, um, I don't know if you know which is the most successful pharmaceutical product ever. Viagra. Viagra has been a total success. And, and this is only the tip of the iceberg of what is coming. And I say that only the tip of the iceberg because Viagra is only useful to men and normally old men. And it has been the most successful pharmaceutical product. Imagine when we produce drugs that will make us more intelligent, more handsome, stronger, quicker, etc., etc., etc. Those are going to beat Viagra for a long shot. Another case of biotechnology is cloning. And most of us know or have seen about Dolly, who was born about 10 years ago and who actually uh, was, was an experiment that didn't turn out to be good because she died of arthritis. Uh, well, she, she had to be killed because she was poorly cloned. We did not know how to clone at the time very well. And so she, uh, she died and she was killed. But now we know how to clone uh, basically most different species. In fact... Apparently, we have cloned all of living animals except for one species, which is ours, humans. Uh, two months ago, I was in Korea, in South Korea, 
and I met with some of the scientists working on cloning. And in fact, uh, they were so desperate in, in, in South Korea for, to clone a human being because they, they know this is a matter of time. Someone will do it. It is just in one year, two years, three years. And this scientist, Dr. Huang, wanted to be the first. So unfortunately, he faked the results. But this is, again, a matter of time. This is going to happen somewhere sometime soon. You can look at Singapore. In Singapore, actually, Lee Kuan Yew, uh, who created basically the state of Singapore, he, uh, a few years ago, he created a city within Singapore called Biopolis. And in Biopolis, they say they will clone anything. In fact, Lee Kuan Yew cloned himself, and the current ruler of Singapore is, is his son. And uh, for people in Singapore, if you know the religions of Singapore, uh, there are many Buddhists and many Hindus. And for Hindus and Buddhists who believe in rebirth and reincarnation, which is very similar to cloning, there is nothing better than if you are going to, to be reincarnated, at least you, you can be reincarnated in yourself. It is better to know yourself than someone else. So, so this is really incredible, and Asians think differently. Asian culture is different in many ways. Also Russia, you know Russia, they are working on this. And the problem with the Russians is that you never know what they are thinking. Because when they are happy, upset, or whatever, they always look the same. Always. And I apologize to our two Russian friends here, but, but uh, they always look the same, even when they laugh. <laughs> okay, if we go across cultures,